Hey everyone, this is the Bargain Spotter channel. My name is Deborah. Have you ever wondered about items at Dollar Tree and if they were really worth a dollar? Well, today I'm going to answer that question on some items I have purchased and my personal opinion on those items. So let's begin with these wipes. On the left, there are lens wipes. You get 16 in a package. And on the right are electronic wipes where there are 25 in the package. Do I think both of these items are worth a dollar? Both of them work fine. I have no complaints, but you really don't get a lot of wipes for a dollar. This one with the 16 count, they end up being eight to nine cent each. And these, I would say, are probably a better deal. I looked online at Walmart. Walmart carries a hundred count of their lens wipes for $4.44. So you're paying five cents each. For convenience, these are okay, but as far as the price and what you get, no, these are not worth your dollar. I would say these are. On a recent video of mine, I showed you these essentials lint rollers. This came as a bundle pack. I got this one free when I purchased this 50 count. I really wanted to love these because 80 sheets of lint roller sheets is really a great deal, but unfortunately I have to say this is not a good deal. The sheets are extremely thin. I had great difficulty even though it does say easy peel. I had great difficulty in getting the U sheet off of this roll, and it's a spiral type of roll, so it really was difficult. As you can also see, the covers that you need to stay on your roller to keep the lint off just does not work very well. So no, even with a bonus, I would say this is not worth your dollar. The next items I want to review are this Essentials brand heavy duty storage bag. You get one extra extra large, you get two extra larges, and if you purchase the large you get three. These are not all in this one box, you just get whatever you see at the top. Do I think that this is worth a dollar? I would say yes. These are very well made. They have a carrying handle. The plastic is very thick. I have no problems with its sealing. I use these quite often, even for a dollar for one of the extra extra large that is most definitely worth the money. You would be paying 50 cents each because you get two of the extra large and you would be paying 33 cents a bag for the large. So yes, all three sizes are worth your dollar. Up next is this Sure Fresh food storage container. It has a lid on top so you can pour items and it closes and opens pretty well. You can also remove the lid here. For a dollar, I would say it is perhaps worth it if you're not using this to store crackers or cookies or anything that you don't want to go stale. It is okay for storing things such as what I'm using it for, which is to corral my salt packets together. But for what its intent and purpose is, I would say no, it's not worth a dollar. This is an Ikea storage container that I purchased for $3.99. It's similar to that one. I much prefer this one. It is much better made. I don't have to worry about items going stale as much. And I would much prefer spending $3 extra and getting this versus this at Dollar Tree. So this, I would say, is a no. It's not worth the dollar. Next up are these shoe box storage containers. The one on the left is from Dollar Tree, 
and the one on the right is from Walmart. The Walmart version is the Sterilite shoebox and I paid less than a dollar and of course I paid a dollar for the one at Dollar Tree. If you look at these closely you will see that the one from Walmart is taller. Also the lids are so much more sturdy and fit tightly on my container versus the one from Dollar Tree which is not. It does fit on there but I have found that the lid is not great. It's very thin compared to this one and I'm not really a big fan of the quality. I think the plastic on this one is also much more sturdy. So the one from Dollar Tree I say is not worth your dollar. Next up are these Driver's Choice Car Air Freshener Tags. You can hang them on your windshield or on a knob in your car. You get a package of three and they have different scents. I chose the Sweet Coconut. I really wanted to love these and I was really hoping that this would make my car smell fresher and smell great. But to be honest, there is hardly any smell whatsoever in these, even when taking them out of the package. So, save your dollar. I would say these are not worth a dollar. Next up is this Ultra Shine Dish Detergent Packs. You get 10. They are for your dishwasher. They look like this. You keep the film on them and put them in your dishwasher. These are 10 cents each. These are the only dish detergent packs that I now buy. Ever since I discovered these, I buy no other. So these are most definitely worth your dollar. So next up are these plastic food containers or food storage, all from Dollar Tree. Let's begin with this one. This is an oval plastic food container. You can put it in the microwave. I really love this. It came in two different sizes. There was a lid fits really well. You can put it in the dishwasher. It is definitely worth a dollar. This is an egg carton and you store your eggs in this. You can put 12 at a time. You use your index finger to open it up. It is stackable. You can put more of these on top. I love this. It's very sturdy and very well made, just like this one. Definitely, these two are worth your dollar. Another item that Dollar Tree carries is this beverage organizer. I use it in my cabinets to store canned items. I think it works perfectly for that. It's a little flimsy as it is made of plastic, but it is most definitely worth my dollar. I have several of these. This is a food storage container that has a twist on lid. I love the name brand versions of this because unfortunately I was not satisfied with this at all. You get two in a package. It could be three for the smaller. I know you do get two in the larger for sure. I put this in my refrigerator with liquid inside of it and food. And unfortunately, it got turned over and all the liquid poured out. I had the lid on tight as I could. And that's another issue. The lid is not the greatest. It really does not fit very well around the ridges whenever you take it off and try to put it back on. Even for two or three of these for a dollar, I would say unless you were using them for storing something without liquid, these are not worth your dollar. Another item is this wonderful storage organization. You can put so many different things in this. I love how thick this part of it for you to pull out of your cabinet or your refrigerator is. You can store so many different types of things. I'm just showing you what I store in mine. It is very well made. 
this most definitely is worth your dollar. All of these are, this one is not. Up next are paper goods from Dollar Tree. They carry this 200 pack of two ply Kleenex tissues. This shows you how much is in this package. They are pretty soft. This most definitely is worth one dollar. I buy these quite often. This bath tissue, toilet tissue, on the other hand, is not the greatest deal. You only get 120.78 square feet. It is two ply, it is unscented. It is not the worst toilet tissue ever, but for the little amount of square footage you get, I would say this is not worth a dollar. It is okay quality. It's worth buying in a pinch and you don't wanna to go to a big store or the grocery store. But otherwise, I would say no, this is not worth your dollar, and this is. To continue on the paper products, this is the Mega My Size Paper Towel Roll. You get 210 sheets in each one of these individual rolls, and it is 88.2 square feet, and they are two ply. I have never purchased this before, so I'm going to pause and take it out of the plastic and give you my thoughts on whether this is worth $1. I wanted to point out now that I have it out of the plastic that they have glue along here and it is rather hard to get it started, the new roll started, but here is how much is in this roll. So it is pretty generous in the amount and once I get this started, I will show you my thoughts and the thickness of this paper towel roll. Okay, I have unrolled it. I will say that I do like the fact that it's perforated and you can use half a roll or half a sheet, I should say, versus the entire sheet. That in itself could save you some money. Do I like the quality of this? It is rather thin. I would say, no, the quality is not great. The amount's pretty good. The fact that it's perforated and you can save money by using half a sheet versus the whole sheet is great. But do I think I will buy this again and do I think it's worth the dollar? I think it is maybe worth the dollar if you have run out and you need some desperately. Otherwise, I would say no, this is not worth your dollar. This is an item that I have purchased a few times. It's rather new as far as me purchasing it. I bought it for the first time a few weeks ago and the main reason was that we have looked all around for the higher wattage LED light bulbs, but they are really ridiculously expensive, at least for us. And this Sunbeam was a name brand, and they have the 100 watt, and I thought I would give it a go. It says on the back that it's cool to the touch, so I'm not worried about it burning my house down. But I thought that I would give it a go, and so far I've had no complaints with these. They seem to work really well, they're really bright, and for one dollar, so far I would say these are most definitely worth your dollar. Next up is this Natural White Sensitive Extreme Whitening Fluoride Toothpaste. It says on the package to compare it to Sensodyne. You get 4.5 ounces. It comes in just the mint flavor. I tried this a few weeks ago because I have sensitive teeth and I was really happy with the outcome of using it. The flavor was fine. I have tried a few sensitive toothpaste in the past and they had a really mm, funky flavor to be honest with you. I did look online and the Sensodyne toothpaste for four ounces which is less than this one is. The whitening version is $5.47. So for $1 to get sensitive toothpaste, 
and it's also made in the USA, I would say this is most definitely worth your dollar. Next up is this Jot Invisible 6 package of tape. This is what is on each roll. You get 600 inches per roll. Dispenser is not included, but I wanted to show you that it does fit dispensers. I personally think that this is a wonderful buy for a dollar. It is a little thin, but it does stick really well. As you can see, it's on my finger and it's not coming off. The Scotch brand tape is thicker than this is, but I've not really had a problem. I definitely think this is worth your dollar. Next up is the Scrub Buddies 100 count plastic disposable gloves. These are very thin and as you can see on my hand, they are extremely long. It does make them cumbersome when I am trying to use my hands because they tend to pull off. And even though I'm only paying one cent per glove, I would say that your best bet is to buy the non-disposable gloves for $1 at Dollar Tree and reuse them versus buying these disposable ones. So in my opinion, these are not worth $1. Okay, everyone, here are the items that I personally do not think are worth your dollar at Dollar Tree. And here are the items that I think are worth your dollar at Dollar Tree. I hope this video was informative. And I hope that it gave you more ideas of the best buys that you can purchase at your local Dollar Tree. Until my next video. always be spotting those bargains. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.